welcome to my The Principles of Safe and Effective Exercise session. Uh, as you can see, it's two images. Uh, to begin with, we're going to start off by describing the principles of fitness training. Um, a, a successful training program will have to meet the individual needs of that specific person based on fitness. For example, this includes age, gender, fitness levels and the sport for which we are training. A successful training program will also include exercise in the correct heart rate target zone. The key principles when planning a fitness session are uh, specificity, training must be matched to the needs of the sporting activity to improve fitness in the body, parts the sport uses, for example an older person might have weak arms so they need to be an area to target. Overload, fitness can be improved by training more than you normally do. Uh, you must work hard at this. This will be suited, suited to an active person who is regularly exercising with a high high and ambitious targets. Progression, start slowly and gradually increase the amount of exercise and keep overloading. Uh, reversibility, any adaptation that takes place as a result of training will be reversed when you stop training. If you take a break or you don't train enough, you will lose fitness. Uh, and then when planning the program, you must add the fit principles to add more detail onto the program. So like frequency, this is when you decide how often you train, for example, once a week or three or four times a week. Intensity, choose how hard you compete in the session, either slow or high intensity work rate, and time, decide for how long you want to train for, and type, decide which methods of training to use in the session. My next PowerPoint is on components of fitness, there are five main components of fitness. Uh, to begin with, muscular strength, muscular strength first the amount of force a muscle can produce with a single maximum effort. Uh, muscular strength is measured during muscular contraction, the size of your muscle fibers and the ability of the nerves are active. Uh, muscle fibers are related to muscle strength. The way to increase strength is to train with heavy uh, weights working in the 4 to 6 or 12 to 15 rep ranges. This would be suitable for a person wanting to gain muscle. Uh, muscular endurance is the ability of your muscles to perform contractions for extended periods of time rather than just lifting or carrying something for a few seconds. The muscles are used for minutes. Yeah, that makes sense. The way to increase strength is to train with light weights working in a 20 to 25 rep range. Work with lighter weight will train the muscle fibers needed for muscular endurance and the higher rep range leads to a longer period of exercise. Uh, cardiovascular endurance is your uh, body's ability to keep up the exercise like running, jogging, swimming, cycling and anything that forces your cardiovascular system, lungs, heart, blood vessels to work for extended periods of time. Together with the heart and lungs, fuel your body with oxygen needed by your muscles ensuring that they, they have the oxygen needed for the work they are doing. The Cupra run, running for as much as possible in 12 minutes is a test commonly used to assess cardiovascular, but many trainers use a step test, stepping onto a platform for five minutes, both are accurate measures of the subject's cardiovascular endurance. Flexibility, this is very important as it allows your body to free rotate without any pain or agony. To test your flexibility, I recommend a sit and reach test. This is a way to access your flexibility. The more flexible you are, the closer you will come to touching your toes and beyond. Body composition, body composition is used to describe essential fat, bone and water in muscle human bodies. A good way to identify this is the skin fold fitness test. Uh, adaptation to fitness training is muscle tone and hypertrophy. This is where the muscles um, are in a state of small tension and they are ready to be moved about into action. Regularly training tones help to create good posture. Furthermore, the muscles will hypertrophy and get big in size. Gradually more muscles tone that allow regular ex activities such as shopping or gardening easier. Good Posture helps with sporting performance, our special positions are crucial uh, to success, e.g. the position throughout the golf swing. People with good posture also better themselves. An upright body position is often a sign of self-confidence. This will help in the gym and make it easier for you. Uh, decreasing heart rate. The heart rate is based on the number of contractions in the ventricles. The heart, heart might be too fast, which means it's cuts out with tach tachycardia, or too slow is bradycardia. There are ways to maintain a healthy heart. Um, there, there are also ways to maintain a healthy heart. You have to exercise more when you walk, swim, bicycle. Your heart beats faster during the activity for sure. So I'm after it. Reduce, your, reduce your stress problems, avoid uh, tobacco products, and lose weight if necessary. Uh, what are the importance of doing a warm up? A warm up through, uh, what, through a warm up helps to increase the blood flow to so the working muscles, which results in decreased muscle stiffness, reduce, reduce the injury, and often improve performance. Also benefits of warming up include uh, physiological and psychological preparation for more extreme exercise such as big exercise like lifting challenging weights. 
the benefits of warming up are increased muscle temperature, this is where the temperature between the muscles increases and help reduce injuries, increased body temperature, this, is, this improves muscle elasticity, also reduces the risk of strains and pulls, improved range of movement, the range of movement around the joint is increased, mental preparation, the warm is also a good time to prepare for the event by clearing the mind, making them prepare for tough exercise sessions. And the exercises I rec recommend is uh, between the different exercise sessions you're going to do, for example, it includes a lot of stretching and more flexible movements uh, would be helpful to perform, but other, um, other movements like aerobic exercise would be important, for example, yoga or some of the importance of doing a cool down. The importance of doing a cool down is that it helps lower um, a raise the heart rate down to resting heart rate safely. It also may help you simply unwind after an intense workout, easing your heart rate back to resting heart rate. During the cool down, you are allowing the blood to properly re uh, redistribute itself to the heart. Uh, this helps uh, get rid of the muscles of lactic acid, which can build up around the muscle during an aerobic workout. Uh, you should perform stretching. This should be performed because your muscles will be nice and warm for a deeper, more beneficial stretch for all your major muscles. You have, to, you have to do static stretching and hold it for 30 seconds. This allows the pulse to decrease and go back to normal. PNF is also recommended. Appropriate, sensitive, new muscular felicitation. This is where you stretch, which allows the muscles to become more flexible. That is the end.